All right. Talk about Game Pass. Okay. Uh, today, Microsoft has confirmed to Windows Central that details on the long-expected Xbox Game Pass price increase uh, is well and truly here, but it comes with some major changes to the basic Xbox console tier as well. Uh, Game Pass is Microsoft's Netflix-like uh, all-you-can-eat gaming subscription service, no, no, so blah, no. blah, 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 blah. Uh, Microsoft rebranded Xbox Live Gold, the paywall for premium multiplayer titles to Game Pass Core a short while ago, and has done some small price increases over the years. Now we're getting another name, we're getting another name change of sorts, as well as a major change to the basic Game Pass tier, as well as a range of price increases. Here's what we know. Soon, Xbox Game Pass for console will be shuttered for new users only. So if you haven't subscribed to Game Pass for console, do it now, because otherwise you won't be able to if you never have before. What the fuck? Users currently on the Game Pass for console will be allowed to maintain their subscription as well as day one games and the hundreds of titles in their back catalog. New users on Game Pass in the near future will be greeted by a new Game Pass standard. Oh no. This is more like EA Access, which includes Xbox's back catalog and does not include day one games. This will be priced, huh? this will be priced at $14.99 per month and will also include Xbox Live Gold for multiplayer, now known as Game Pass Core. Oh, we could have made this the main topic. Uh, I didn't realize it was this dire. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't include Xbox Cloud Gaming Game Pass Standard is supposedly launching in September. From September 12th, that's, 2024. That fucking sucks. That, uh, that's a big suck. That that's sucks. a very big suck right $15 there. $15 a month, is that what Game Pass for console was? That's a that's lot. That's what Game Pass Ultimate was initially. What the fuck? <laughs> it, it, there's more. Oh, it doesn't no. end. Oh, no. From, uh, from September 12th, 2024. Like how you waited a day? Yeah. Good. Uh, Microsoft will only allow users to stack Xbox Game Pass for console up, uh, for up to 13 months using prepaid cards and the like, which will continue to function. If you have more than 13 months stacked already, you won't be impacted. So they're going to cap the amount of months you can stack to 13. Okay. You can't buy like a hundred uh, gift cards and let's just have a hundred months. So what if you just get a gift card? Then you got to wait. Then you, you got to wait. Sit on the gift yeah. card. That's so annoying. Uh, Game Pass Ultimate will not be changed, but it will get a price increase. It will still include PC Game Pass, Day One games, and hundreds of back catalog titles, as well as cloud gaming. But it's getting a price increase to nineteen ninety nine per month. That's a lot. PC Game Pass is also getting a price increase from $9.99 per month to $11.99 per month. PC Game Pass will also continue to get day one games. Game Pass Core, formerly known as Xbox Live Gold, uh, is getting an annual price increase to $74.99, up from $59.99 previously, but it will remain at $9.99 per month. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. They started off by giving us Xbox Game Pass standard. Yes. Core is worse than that? Is less stuff than that? Core is what Xbox Live Gold used to be. So it's just online multiplayer. It's just online okay. multiplayer. They do give you 25 games. Yeah. Uh, but that basically replaces the two free games a month that they used to do. I'm they shouldn't even do that at all. I know. Honestly. <laughs> they should just get rid of that completely. Uh, the price increases are global. So there's a there's a chart on here. You can see the price the prices for your region. Uh, we're American, so we only care about America. Right. Obviously, we're the greatest right, country right. in the world. Nothing wrong with us over here, uh, unlike you Europeans. Um, but yeah, if this is going to affect you around the world, so it's not just us in the great old U.S. of A., the greatest country in the world. Uh, where was I? I got so patriotic there. Um, users with recurring billing, the new prices will take effect on September 12th, 2024, giving you time to cancel if you don't fancy it. I am going to cancel my Game Pass because I never use it. Yeah. Like, I, I have been on Xbox's side for, like, this whole time because I like the idea of Game yeah. Pass so much. I think it's a great value. Uh, increasing the price is lame. Uh, 
this structure that they have is lame. Like I knew, I you always knew that they were gonna get rid of Xbox Gold or, or, or Xbox Live. Yeah, they were gonna try to push Game Pass as much as possible. That was always evident. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're they're ma- they're keeping Xbox Live Gold. They're just calling it something else. Yeah. I mean, it, that doesn't it, make sense. It, it it makes sense to have just a basic tier that gives you access to online multiplayer. For what? I mean, if they're still going to charge for online multiplayer. For what? What games? Whatever games still use online multiplayer. Like, That's what I'm saying. I'm saying <laughs> now most of the games that people want to play online multiplayer are free and right. you don't need gold right. anymore. Like like back in the day when Xbox Live came out and we were paying for yeah. multiplayer, which wasn't a thing, you used to not have to pay to play games on- online. But Xbox right. came out and they were like, hey, you're going to give us money. And we're like, yay! Yeah. I would love to give you money for this mm-hmm. thing that used to be free. And on PlayStation, it was free. But on Xbox, we paid for it because we thought it was a better service. Yeah. And I would pay every fucking time because I wanted to play Call of Duty online. Yeah. Now, I only play Warzone, and that's a free game, and you mm-hmm. don't even need to pay that right. in order to play it. So, I, I don't need that, because mm-hmm. I don't play any multiplayer games that require it. Uh, and I, I just don't use uh, Game Pass. And, all right, so the core, no, the standard does not have day one games. Yeah. That's insane. So if you want the day one games, which is another reason why I paid for Game Pass. That was its whole selling point. Yeah. If I want that, I need Ultimate. Yeah. Or I guess I could get the PC version? The PC Game Pass, yeah. Yeah, would that give me day one? That gives you day one. Yeah, PC Game Pass will continue to get day one games. But PC Game Pass is only on PC. Like, yeah. that's not going to transfer over to if you want to play the game on Xbox. I, I got to say, mostly I'm using Game Pass on PC if, okay. I'm, if I'm using it. Uh, because there's just so many more devices. Yeah. I, I, like, I just like to play games on wacky devices. And yeah. there's a lot more wacky devices that are, are compatible with PC Game Pass. Um, yeah, it's unclear whether or not... They never said day one games... Oh, PC Game Pass will also continue to yeah. get day one games. Okay. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean day one games as they are now, where they'll come three days early if you pay more Pro- money? Probably, yeah. Or are they just getting rid of day one games in the standard so that they could stop releasing games? Or No, they wouldn't do that. They would, well, they would never stop releasing games early for a fee. It's funny you say that, because uh, I did see a tweet. I bookmarked it from uh, Imran Khan, game writer. Yes. Uh, he familiar. tweeted, uh, it looks like it's from the... Uh, uh, acquiring of Activision lawsuit or whatnot, he tweeted, I guess you could argue there are other factors driving the price increase, but that's really talking out of both sides of your mouth here. And he, he highlighted uh, from the from the legal briefing, here the acquisition would benefit uh, consumers making Call of Duty available on Microsoft's Game Pass on the day it is released on console with no price increase for the service based Ooh. on the acquisition. So it, it sounds like they did this to try and not seem like they're hiding Call of Duty behind, you know, day one on Game Pass, you know? Oh, because they can't. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Well. They just, just allow it to be on another service. They completely, like, twisted their premier gaming subscription mm-hmm. in order to buy. Activision, and this is the result of it. Yeah, and they you're, fucked up everything. You're getting a worse service. You know, this is expensive. Twenty dollars a month. Its new price is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you know, I, I'm paying like seventeen dollars a month for Netflix right now, which is already insane. I'm not gonna spend another twenty on Game Pass. You know, and and now like if I wanted to save money and get the cheaper tier I'm not getting uh, day one games which is the whole selling point of it's the main thing that separated Game Pass from PlayStation Plus you were no one was getting uh day one games anyway yeah I'm paying 16.99 by the way a month and it renews July uh 13th okay so I am uh turning off recurring billing wait is that what I want to do? There's also cancel subscription. Why are there two things? Well, it, 
That's a good question. Because Game Pass, you pay month to month. I'm going to turn off recurring billing and see what that happens. Does, yeah. Now, the only thing I can foresee being a problem here is that in Valorant, mm-hmm. you get all of the characters if you link it to Game Pass. Oh, you're going to lose that. So, you unlock the characters by playing the game. Okay. But you have to, like, click on each character and then play the game. So, yeah. I'm going to lose some characters. Yes. I have to start unlocking them. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I only played three characters anyway. Um, turn off recurring billing. Bing. Let's see what this does. Who is at Microsoft leaking all of the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Everything that they're planning on doing yeah. is, is fucked. Goodbye for now. Your subscription will end on uh, July 12th. There you go. Okay. There you go. No more Game Pass. And there's a little lady waving at me. Oh, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Yeah. It, I could always. I'm canceling it because when I need it, I will just pay for it. Yeah. Like if there's a game coming out, like if they, what would be the next? Oh, Indiana uh, Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah. When that comes out, I'll pay for it and I'll play it. Right. Uh, and that's it. That's all yeah. I can think of. No, there's. I don't use it otherwise. Yeah. So. Uh, according to Microsoft, the vast majority of users today are already on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is their flagship plan service. Uh. Game Pass Ultimate incorporates all of the X, all of the games on Xbox consoles as well as in the cloud and on PC too, often with cross save and cross progression. So they, I guess they figure everyone's already just using Ultimate. Yeah. So we, you know, we that was inevitably going to get a price increase. So, but now they have all these other. Conf- it was already kind of confusing. It wasn't as bad as like other services, but like now it just makes it more confusing because they keep changing it. You know, and yeah. they keep changing it for the worse. I would imagine. I mean, this isn't happening until September, and I'd yeah. imagine that they would have a press release that would make a little more. No, you know what? I take it back. Microsoft is notorious for uh, not being very yeah. consumer friendly in their messaging. You have the Xbox One. You have the Xbox Series yeah. X and S, and Xbox One S, and Xbox Series X. Mm-hmm. We were talking to our friends the other day, and I legitimately couldn't understand which Xbox he had. <laughs> um, 